September 11th, I was assigned to Marine Fighter Tactical Squadron 251 in Beaufort, South Carolina. And uh, more specifically, we were preparing to deploy on the USS Teddy Roosevelt. That was already on the books, a deployment. We were going to leave around beginning mid-October. But we were beginning our final carrier qualification and bouncing at the uh, at home base in Beaufort. I was a landing signal officer, so I'd been up late the night before waving at the field until about 1 in the morning. So when I specifically first heard of it, I'd just woken up, turned on the news, and then there it was. So we accelerated our deployment. So again, we're supposed to leave beginning mid-October. We left eight days later. So accelerated pretty rapidly for us. We got on the ship and immediately went off of, headed straight across the Med, down the Suez, down the Red Sea, and then we're off the, uh, off the coast of southern Pakistan when we began combat operations uh, in Afghanistan. So my career has been completely defined by September 11th. Uh, you know, for the next 15, 20 years or so, you know, up, up until today has been affected by that. Uh, for me personally, I've done five deployments. All of them have been in combat in the Middle East. You know, the whole focus of the Marine Corps, you know, really up until about 2013 or so was getting Marines to the fight. And that is what, what we've done. And we did it well. We grew the Marine Corps. I was part of that, got to see the effects of those things. And everything you know, for the next 10, 15 years was wholly focused on honing our craft, honing our skill set, honing our combat skills to be able to go down range and fight in the Middle East. Everything from how we do training, how do we fly, what kind of uh, training are we going to focus on, to professional military education with a real rebirth of study of counterinsurgency. What I would pass on to the Marines of today is what was passed on to me, which is there's a lot of, when you're called upon to head down range into combat, there's a lot of unknown. How will I react? Will I fail? You know, these are normal human reactions. But just like the senior leaders and more seasoned Marines taught me was, when you're called upon to go into combat, you're going to fall back on your training automatically. And our training is top notch. It is the best. And I would say the Marines of today are better prepared for combat than certainly we were then or even the senior leaders who taught me as well. And they, and they would agree with that as well. So having seen you know, a 20 year arc that has defined my career, you know, there's a lot of emotion with that. But when you get down to the nugget of it, I think about what the Commandant said in his, le in his uh, letter out to the force, which was, you know, the Model Marine Corps is semper fidelis, always faithful. And from 9-11, from those first days, and my squadron was lucky to be in the first Marine unit engaged in combat uh, in this fight. And we've got Marines there at the end, closing out this fight. And the entire time we're that 20-year arc, we have always been faithful with ourselves, with our allies, with the mission that's been assigned to us. And even now is no different as we're looking to uh, finally pull out. So for me personally, serving the military is all I've ever wanted to do. And when I was asked early on, hey, what do you want to do in your career? All I've wanted to do is when, the, when we're called to go fight, I want to be one of the first people to, to be picked. That's all I wanted to do, all I've ever wanted to do. And I, I feel very fortunate, although a horrific event, I feel very fortunate to be in the, the position I was to be able to be there right at the very beginning. Um, it had, personally, it's take, you know, like a lot of Marines, it's taken a personal toll on family. It's very stressful. It is hard. Um, you know, right now, as we're looking at the close of it, you know, I can look at friends and families who've been affected, friends I've lost, comrades I've lost, uh, you know, funerals you've gone to for people who've been killed in action. And so, it, you know, there's a lot of emotion happening right now, both, you know, me personally with my wife as we... Those families are still, still around and thinking about, uh, you know, what was, what was it for? What was the cost of those things? And me personally, you know, I believe it was worth it. Um, we, our nation was attacked. and It was our job to go and fight for our nation and, and for what our country believes in.